Philip Godot Ministries presents A Father's Heart with Dr. Philip Godot. He's a pastor, man of God, with more than 30 years in ministry, and Dr. Brenda K. Godot, the First Lady of Calvary Christian Center, teaching the uncompromising Word of God. Today's message... Um, a father is never supposed to give his, way, his daughter away to a male or to an imitation but only to another father because only another father would know how to treat his daughter. And now from Sacramento, California, Dr. Philip Godot. I had a man come to me today and he said to me, I want you, I've never had a father and I want you to be my father. I need a father in my life. He, I never had one. And he said he was with me in a meeting and he heard my son, Nehemiah. And it just, it just came spontaneous. I don't know what happened. But Nehemiah started telling the other men in this circle of men that I had of what a great father I am. It touched me so much, I, I, it took me a little bit. I just sat there and I was just really emotionally touched because I've never really heard him be bolsters enough to talk about it. I've heard Philip do it. I've seen Philip do it, but never Nehemiah. And Nehemiah started talking about what his dad means to him and what his dad does this and how he watched his dad treat his mama and how he watched his dad do this. And I wouldn't be here today if my dad was a hypocrite or if my dad wasn't the right man, I wouldn't be standing here today. And he just started talking about his father and, and, and bragging about me. And I was just like, wow. But never, I didn't know that there was a man in there. And his life had been troubled and he had lived a, a, a life not as productive as he should be because he'd never had a pattern. See, men need a pattern. Men need somebody to help them, to guide them, to be able to live and be able to be productive in their life. We're not called to do this thing by ourselves, brother. Men need help. And we don't need it later on. We need help right now. We didn't, we didn't have a school to go to of how to be a husband, how to be a father, how to be a, a leader. So we had to learn because we got to play catch up. And they already say that women are like four or five years more mature than men. Okay. <laughs> they already say women are more mature than men. They tell a woman, you need to marry an older, older man. Because... Uh, well, you can have somebody on the level of your maturity because most men, they're so far behind. I don't even know if four or five years is a good measuring stick because so many men are so far behind and I'm not putting down men. I'm trying to get you to understand we just haven't had the pattern because only fathers produce fathers. And most men have never had a real father in their life. So they just been hitting and missing and going here and banging here and jumping on this and running after that and, and leaving that and running from that. And never taking on the responsibility that they have so they can never produce fathers. And what pattern that man sets in his life is the pattern that his kids end up being too. Any male can produce a baby, but it takes a real man to be a father. Our dad is very important, man. Like, a life leader, respectful man of God. It's very important, especially for the girls, because they need to know that they're loved by their fathers. Me growing up, I grew up without a father, so I knew that he wasn't there, but so yeah, I could, I could see me being a better dad because of that. When there's a gap of them not being there, it definitely affects the child. I came up good, you know, from you know not really having a dad, but it is important to have a male figure, you know, in your life. It's really important. Dr. Goudot challenges men to embrace their role as fathers and be the leaders and mentors of their homes God created them to be. He explains that a father's responsibility should never be taken for granted and should be seen as an opportunity to mold and shape their children. Fatherhood. Order your copy today. <laughs> 